What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, I had the opportunity to stop by the Sinai booth at Magna 2019, as well as a few other booths that we're gonna take a look at today. So sit back, relax, and let's just jump right into it. Hey everyone, we're here at the Sinai booth here at Magna. I'm joined by Kat, and uh, she's gonna talk about what Sinai is, um, how it can monitor and uh, basically keep the fish in your aquarium safe and just monitor your whole tank. It's like that. Hello. So these are our devices. We monitor water temperature. You can connect the device to the tank and then it does water level as well. And we have NH3, which is the toxic ammonia, and pH as well. And our Senai Reef devices monitor Lux, Kelvin and Par. So it's 24-7 monitoring. The readings get uploaded to our Senai servers and sent back down to your Senai app and your Senai dashboard. So you can then plot all of the um, all the data and you can see the trends on it as well. You can then set your alert lines to where you want them to be. So you can pop your pH at seven um, or set your ammonia to, we read down to 0 0.001 in parts per million so you can set it really, really low. And if anything falls out of those alert lines then you get sent a text message, an email for you to go do something about it. You set up an account in your app um, and then it basically will keep track and it constantly monitors your tank? 24-7 monitoring, yes, yeah. so all the time. Um, you can actually see your live readings on the Senai Connect application and then for your, when you're out and about you get an upload every half an hour so you're getting that constant data through. Okay. And then um, not only do you have the monitor in the tank but you have uh, other products as well. Yeah, so um, you can have a magnetic holder which actually connects um, keeps the device in place, like I said, for the water level. Um, the other stuff that we've got on the table is you can either connect the device to a PC or a tablet, or we have our Senai web servers, and you attach it to the web server. That's got a little Wi-Fi module next to it as well, and you just put all of that by the tank, and then you just let it run. We also have leak detectors as well, so you can just pop them underneath your aquarium, and if you just a slight bit of water comes through, then you get sent an alert for that as well. Okay, very cool. Now, how long has uh, Sinai been around producing these? Um, so the company is around 12 years old. I've only been with them for about three years. Um, but these devices now have got the latest firmware in them, so it's all kind of newer spec stuff. So the Sinai is reading your tank's vitals and it monitors the free ammonia in your tank and as we all know, ammonia, the first stage of the nitrogen cycle is very toxic to your fish. So if anything spikes in that regard, you wanna know about it. Uh, the Sinai also measures your pH, your temperature, it gauges your water level and the reef monitor has the light meter that includes uh, the PAR, the LUX, and the Kelvin. Now, I am very impressed with the size of this device. It doesn't take up that much space and you can mount it in the sump if you need to. And even though the Sinai Reef can read PAR, Sinai is introducing the Spectra, which is a nano spectrometer that takes things to the next level. So this is just a light meter. So whereas the other one is a 24-7 monitoring alert system, this is our brand new Spectra and it's just a light meter on its own. So this can either be in the water, out of the water, it's fully submergible. And then, so it's a, it's a one nanometer single precision light meter and you can set it to whatever corals and whatever plants that you've got in your tank and then you can tune your LEDs into the correct lighting for it. Um, so you've got your PAR and your PAR and your Kelvin on there as well and you can also select the pigments um, if you want to set it to chlorophyll B and see how much is in there that's possible as well. Very cool so not only can you monitor your tank you can now check your PAR readings and everything and yeah. dial in your tank specifically to your needs. Exactly so, so just the Senai Reef has a light meter on it so it has Lux, Kelvin and PAR um, but yeah this is the kind of they're more like just a normal car, whereas this is a Ferrari, basically. Awesome. Thank you so much, Kat. No worries. Thanks so much. So a lot of really cool things here at Sinai, and one thing that I kind of overlooked but I thought was very interesting is that not only can the Spectra read your PAR, which is the photosynthetic active radiation, but it also measures PER, which is photosynthetic usable radiation. So looking at those values, you can really dial in the way your lights are affecting your corals and how your corals are using your lights to grow.
Now, as always, there was a ton more to see at Magna, so I was off to another booth, and the next booth I stopped at was Coral View. So, what's up, everyone? I'm here with Jeff at the Coral View booth here at Magna, and we're right in front of the clear filter. Can you um, explain a little bit about how this works and, and what it is for everyone? I got the mic. I'm um, sure. Um, this is a replacement for your filter socks. So if you're tired of washing your filter socks or tossing your filter socks, uh, this is a perfect solution for you. Um, ideally, you know, most hobbies are replacing their mechanical filtration every few days, maybe once a week. Um, this does the work for you. So uh, as the unit gets clogged with debris, uh, it's going to trigger a motor, it's going to wind the filter fleece up, and, uh, and you don't have to do a thing. Okay, cool. And, and how, how long does the media last within it? Like, when do you have to change it out and put a new roll on? Um, a month or two, yeah. Or two. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. And you, and you have a demo here of the way it would be set up in a small sum. Um, can we take a look at that and, and show us how it works, like walking around? Absolutely, yes. Come closer, closer. <laughs> Let's spin this thing around even, maybe. <clears throat> Alrighty, so water is going to drop down into your sump. Um, it will cascade through here. Spin, little sump, spin. Um, and it'll fall right inside, similar to a filter sock. Um, once the fleece is filled and the water has difficulty escaping, um, it will rise, trigger this optical eye, which is, you know, similar to an auto top-off system. Uh, when that's triggered, the motor will spin and pull your dirty filter fleece uh, out. And so you have clean fleece in the water. Uh, the dirty is up here. Um, and we even put uh, carbon in the lid to absorb any stinky smell for you. Um, the replacement rolls on the 4-inch are $13.99. Uh, replacement rolls on the larger size are $19.99. And yeah, typically it's going to last you a month. Um, some staff members on our team are saying two months. Uh, so results may vary. Um, your tank may be dirtier than ours. <laughs> but uh, hopefully that was a good explanation. Um, we actually have a new unit over here I can show you. Um, it's not released yet. Uh, but. These others uh, need to drop into a filter sock compartment. Um, if you don't have a filter sock compartment, we do have this uh, optional bracket that you could use. So if your sump was just like an old aquarium maybe, or a cheap aquarium you, you, know, you got a great deal on, you could use this bracket. Um, but coming out before the end of the year, we'll have this version that you can just hang right on the side uh, and plumb. And so it doesn't need to sit in its own chamber. Um, it can work completely independently. So that was the clear. And now moving on to this. This is a uh, new uh, product from Coral View. This is the Coral View, the ice cap uh, algae scrubber, correct? Yep, uh, ice cap algae turf scrubbers, uh, brand new. Um, we already have these available. They should be on our site next week. Um, and so they should be available in fine fish stores everywhere maybe next, the week after that. All right, very cool. And these, um, how many sizes, what are they like rated to? What do you guys got going? Um, sure, we got three sizes. Uh, the small here, uh, rated for uh, up to 80 gallons. Um, retail price, 225. Uh, back here we have the medium, um, rated for uh, two, uh, 225 gallons. Um, retail is 290. Um, and the big boy in the back there, which we run at our headquarters in Louisiana, uh, that one is rated for 350 gallons, uh, retail uh, 520. All right. um, another cool thing about these, um, you may have seen other algae scrubbers on the market where they have a separate like enclosure thing you have to buy and put over it to keep the light from lighting up your whole living room. Um, uh, this, it's already included. I mean, all you got to do is open this little door. Um, I don't know if you can catch this on camera here. <laughs> uh, oh, I can lift it up. Uh, maintenance is easy. Uh, just unscrew this, um, pull this out. Uh, yeah, clean that off. You don't want to clean it off completely. Um, and, and that's a wrap. I mean, easy peasy.
as far as pricing goes, I don't think you're going to find a better deal on a scrubber than what we're offering. So we think these are going to be a real hit. Very cool. So if algae scrubbing is your thing, check out the ice cap algae turf scrubber from uh, Coralview. Yep, we be scrubbing. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jeff.